So this is the UEI Hub 6 kit. And you'll see we've got the Hub 2 kit, which is the two air probes. So these two together make up the Hub 2 kit. And then the Hub 4 kit is the refrigerant probes, two of those, and the two lime temperature clamps that then connect in to the refrigerant probes. So a couple of things to, to mention here is that they do have um, seals here to protect from rain when they're not connected, when you're not connecting the uh, temperature probes. They articulate So from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. With the Hub 2 kit, I want to mention that they turn on automatically when you open them at all, and they lock at the 90 degree and then the 180 degree positions, which is really nice. So if you're walking around a room, this actually fits really nice in the hand, and then it also locks at the 90 degree position if you want to insert it into a, into a duct. And then it's got two nice strong magnets right here. So you get two of those in the Hub 2 kit. You can see it's they, bo they both turned on. Now I want to show you how easy the app is to use. So both of our air probes are right on now. You can see the, you can see the blinking. And so when I hit air side at the top right, now I have a, um, I have no delta T because they're both reading the exact same temperature. So if you see down here at the bottom, and here at the bottom, they're showing the exact same temperature, which is actually a good sign because it means that they're pretty well calibrated to each other. So now, I'm not sure which is which. If I want to figure out which is which, I just cover one and watch the supply, watch the temperature go up. All right, so now I know that this one I'm covering is assigned to the supply. So I'm just going to take that, put it in the oven. This one in the return. The nice thing about these quarter inch probes is they go in really nicely into duckboard. But let's say that I had um, let's say that I had assigned the tool to the wrong side. You just click down here at the bottom to the toolbox, and then I can just hit the X buttons and that will throw them back into the nearby tools category. And so now let's say I got it wrong the first time around. Now you just drag and drop. So this is the return, drop, drag, and drop on the supply. So now all we have to do to go back is just go back to home. Now we're back on air side. If we want to see some expanded data, if we want to see some expanded data, you just hit plus. And I like how it lines up the return and the supply. So you can see, um, you can see them right next to each other. And when you look at changes in enthalpy and changes in dew point, you can tell that it's removing moisture, because if it wasn't removing moisture, our dew point wouldn't change. And you can also see that it's removing heat because our enthalpy is changing by eight BTUs uh, per pound of air. Relative humidity in the return is higher than the relative lower. Relative humidity in the return is lower than the relative humidity in the supply, and that's what you would expect. That's, that's normal. Right, now, one of the nicest things about the Hub 4 and Hub 6 kits, the refrigerant probes, is these pass-through ports for charging and recovery. Um, they just make it a lot easier. You don't have to have a separate port that you attach. Uh, and that's a nice, very nice feature that they built into this, into these devices. All right, so go back to the UEI app. All right, so got my phone right here displaying and we need to connect. I think I might've forgotten to get a, oh no, I got it right here. Blocking refrigerant caps. So this together makes up what we call the uh, the Hub 4 kit. So if you just these four items is the Hub 4 kit. Go ahead and turn both of them on. Make sure they both sync up. Now, nope. looks like I need to change the battery on these. The air side probes are good, but both the refrigerant side probes, you can see the battery levels are low. So to go ahead and change the battery. I'm going to show you something that I really like about these uh, line temperature clamps and that is that the sensors, it's a thermistor sensor so it's a high quality temperature sensor but it's in thermal 
isolation. That just means that it's, you can see it, it, it doesn't extend to either edge, so it's not going to be affected by air temperature on the outside. And then also it's in suspension, which means that you can push down on it and it actually pushes in and out. So that may, makes sure that it's going to have nice, solid contact to whatever line it's connected to. I also like the tapered end here, so it's easier to get into tight spots. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice clamp. It's got nice tension to it. Feels like an you know, appropriate amount of tension. Um, yeah, works really, works really well. If you want to use, the, they come with these little stickers, so you can put the stickers on to dictate you know, the different clamps to uh, you know, liquid or suction. But it's so easy to switch them within the app. Um, I haven't even done that. All right, so there's my suction. I'm just going to drag and drop that. All right, there's the liquid pressure. All right, so now we're going to go back to home. We need to connect our clamps now. Everything's lining up so far. So it's, depending on which one you clamp to which, it automatically assigns. Now one thing is you got to make sure those are pushed in tight. That's one thing I've seen guys make a mistake with. really sits on the line nicely. Now you can see on our refrigerant side we've got our superheat subcool. Switch over to the the air side. We're currently through a block wall a pretty good distance away. Probably how far how far away you think you are Robbie? Yeah, 20 meters, wow. Very European of you. I think we're probably about 75 feet away. Yeah, see. Through a block wall. And uh, so we're, we're maintaining. It disconnected a couple times, but it's, it's staying, staying connected pretty well. So based on what we're seeing here, it's looking like our, because uh, our target delta T is 19 and our, we're running 26.2 delta T, but we've got a, in Florida, we run 350 CFM per ton. Plus, uh, that system's probably in dehumidify mode, so it would be expected that we would run a little higher delta T. And uh, air subcool, 14. Let's see what we're rated at here. Rated subcooling is 13 degrees on this unit, and we are at 14.6. So, charge is set in well. Give that back to you. It's a very nice, simple to use application. This is the Hub 4 here. The Hub 2's inside, and when you put them all together in one case, that is the UEI Hub 6 kit. Good stuff, nice range. So I'm Brian Orr with the HVAC School Podcast and HVACRSchool.com. Thanks for watching.